Welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars with me, Get Daved. So, we're starting a big attack. Let's see what happens. It's going to take us three turns to get there. We are not cooperating with our friends. Um, they're attacking somewhere else, actually. That could be better, though. That could be much better. System also, it looks like they've got, they've got a winning number of ships. We've got a smaller fleet, but it contains some pretty big ships, so... Hopefully, hopefully that'll pan out. I'm a big believer in quantity, air quality over quantity. One asteroid monitor. Now, I recall getting desperately destroyed by this bef that thing before, so I'm actually not going to sim it. And let's see who's laughing this time. Feel free to skip ahead in the load time. I wish I knew. I wish I knew how many seconds you had to fast forward to get past it. I'm sorry, everybody. There's some problems to which there are no answers. And one of them is recording a processor-intensive task. I suppose I could pause it, but then we wouldn't have this pleasant bonding times, you know? We never hang out anymore. Alright, it's your first chance to see my dreadnoughts in action. Only gonna be the command ship, unfortunately, because I didn't intelligently manage the fleet, but. So you can see that little thing. A little space station on top of an asteroid. We'll show it who's boss. Yeah. Dreadnoughts, they don't turn fast. They don't do a lot of things fast, actually, but they... But they do things big. How did you possibly miss an asteroid? Oh, I do love Lancers. There we go, everybody. System. Who's laughing now, Asteroid Monitor? Give yourself five points if you thought of the ass joke that that System. whole thing lent itself to. Okay, they've only got one ship defending there. Also, looks like my buddy is up there, successfully destroyed that colony. Three cruisers and whew, 18 satellites. And I forgot to manage my fleet, so that's okay. We're going to go for it. This will probably take a while to load. Actually, maybe not that much longer than the last one. So we're going to play a game. You guess what the second digit is going to be when it finishes loading. I'm guessing 7. Okay, right now. It's going to end in a 7 when when the screen turns black right before the loading, okay? Now, if you get closer, give yourself 10 points. If you get farther, um, subtract 100. And uh, as I've st said before, there are negatives in the, in the day of LP scoring game, so I'm sorry if this is going to be what does it for you. And if it's a tie, there's no points either direction. Yep, I'm hoping for a 7. I'm hoping like I might be pretty close, at least on the watch I used to time the LP. Uh, well, maybe not. Alright. I'm just going to send them all in. Because that's the only way to live. Going all in. It's going to take them a really long time because I have them going forward as a unit. Uh, if we separate the cruisers from the d Dreadnought, they'll go a little bit faster. Well, 
that's not quite what I had in mind. Again, because the game always focuses you to fo focus on something, it can get a little tricky. Alright. The beam cruisers should be pretty effective in this situation. There we go. Fortunately, that's a terrible mess, it looks like. No point defense ships, unfortunately. Bit of an oversight. If you're really clever, you should be building some point defense cruisers at this point, but uh, I wouldn't get too caught up in it. Let's speed things up a little. It's like bumping it up to 2x speed actually didn't do that much. Scar the planet. I do love seeing that. I realize it represents the destruction of countless cities. You can also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can target individual turrets on enemy ships as well. Um, I rarely get that picky. Um, it's like a really, really crucial battle, I might, but yeah, not in my nature to get too caught up in a detail like that. Alright, get to work. That's sad. In a situation like this, it's actually not a bad idea, and I should probably do this with a barrage cruiser at the very least. Uh, one with an intact. There we go. Just have it fly around uh, counterclockwise and go after all of the uh, satellites. It actually works out pretty well. I strongly recommend it. Also, uh, I don't have a lot of ships with point defense equipment on them right now, so I am pretty vulnerable uh, to missiles because I haven't designed a point defense version of a cruiser. So you should really watch out for that. Normally I'm good. Normally I'm good for that. Not today though. Finish him. That's It's got to be a medium platform or something. Pretty decent damage to the planet, all things considered. I am pleased. Yeah, that was a medium. Well, that's not going to matter. The population is down to a very small amount. System update. Research successfully completed, sir. Five million. All right. Gonna do what I should have done a fairly long time ago, and research antimatter. Yep, I think that's the thing to do. Mainly due to lack of interesting alternative. I guess like microfusion drives speed up your missiles. There's something to be said for that, but they don't speed up the launch rate, so... 
It's not worth that much. Alright, that's a really nice climate hazard, actually. I have half a mind to settle that as a colony. We could develop it very quickly. In the meantime, I'm going to manage the fleet here. Because I want to have... I want the biggins out there. And something that can protect them a bit better as well. So, let's see here. Legendary sword... Legendary sword, and a very small number of picket ships now. Say what you will about these little guys, they are very good at shooting down, you know, tiny things. I guess we'll get a torpedo cruiser in there too. Make for a more colorful battlefield. And sim, because we're all oh, you're gonna be dead soon. For here, build ourselves a colonizer. And yeah, we'll just send it out next turn actually. System update. What's nice as also is that uh this fleet did that well, and that was an extremely heavily defended planet. Like, that's got to be... System update. I don't know, that represents a very large portion of what they could have defending their homeworld. Mm, advantage System friends. Update. Building the colony there just to get our fuel back is the main reason. System update. So even if they raise it in a little bit, which I hope they don't, um, it'll still have served its purpose. So we can go back on the offensive. We barely need to terraform this place. System? Oh, they're going for the home world. Well, I could scarcely look myself in the mirror if I didn't go after them too. I'll just leave behind some of the damaged, more damaged chips to uh, protect this colony. Uh, you know what? Flag as guard. Moves it to the top of the list. And yeah, we'll go in with those guys. Because I want a piece of the action. Took pretty heavy losses last time. Alright. Now normally I would be inclined to sim a battle like this, but it is pretty epic. So I'm going to end the video, and next time, we're going to rock and roll. I'll see you there.